Welcome to IVSA Chart Analytics, your best signals stock market indicators. IVSA Chart Indicators is based on the time-proven Wyckoff-Williams volume spread analysis. It tells you when you should be in and when you should stay out. No more second guessing. It features a stock screener that allows you to follow the smart money. You virtually get in before the public does. Profit with the smart money. Simple, accurate, and available on desktop and mobile devices. Test drive our IVSA chart now. Welcome to a Friday chart clinic, uh, 22nd of August 2014. This is uh, Martin Wong here from TradersTruthReview.com. Uh, unfortunately, today, uh, Bill, okay, uh, there's another one below Jen. I don't know if we can get through or not because I got too many of you in here. Linda, send to me uh, earlier, okay? If you want me, uh, put it in the. Uh, uh, the Friday uh, chart clinic forum in traderstruthreview.com forum. Okay, then I'm able to cover this because some of these are already put it in there. Uh, welcome again to the Friday chart clinic, 22nd of August 2014. Uh, as I said on early on, we have a working prototype of our IVSA Pro and soon to release on 2nd of September, which is much awaited two weeks from now. And during that time, we have formed uh, a few uh, user group from my graduates for my uh, VSA course that we've been doing over the last 10 years. And these are the graduate of the main course and uh, they have approached me uh, with a, some experience and to use the IVSA, how they can uh, benefit from this uh, bullish stock market here. So those groups, we are doing a special training for them. And the training is, uh, is uh, FOC uh, as part of our service our existing graduates, and uh, that's a lot of benefit for this one in here. Uh, just very interesting to, to share with you. Today, I bumped into a friend, and uh, he signed up. Uh, he's very young, you know, just got off from college. He signed up with one of the uh, local seminar provider that does uh, property and, and stock. And uh, what happened was that uh, the, the cost fee is 5,000 ringgit, all right, uh, for like two days. So, and uh, I said, what happened? How was the cost? And then he said, no, he didn't attend it. I said, why? They cancel it. And uh, because he didn't have enough people, so did you get a refund? They said, no, they only refund 50%. The rest, they sort of uh, don't want to budge and don't want to refund. Uh, I've seen this all before, you know. That's the reason why I I'd always tell people, deal with people you can trust. Deal with people you have seen through, who has a track record. And uh, we've been servicing our our students and graduates over the last 10, 15 years. And do we have any problems, our graduate here, so far? Okay, oh, oh yeah, uh, Alex. Okay, no, right, great, great. Okay, Alex, we will try to accommodate for the Singapore market. Didn't aren't many too many of it. Thanks a lot, okay, been great. All right, so uh, again, these people, a uh, lot of promoters out there, they come up with very sexy uh, gimmicks and a lot of promises and under deliver. And what we do with traderstoofreview.com and our new product, our IVSA chart, we will uh, under promise and over deliver. That's our motto. Okay, so that way we can last longer. <laughs> Would you all agree? Agreed? Okay, under promise and over deliver. Okay, I think most of you who have been following us for the last uh, two, three years has probably have a few couple of good picks. And over the years, I try to, you know, deal with people uh, who are able to change with the market. Who's most important is always able to change with the market. Yesterday, I, I met up with one person and uh, we, we did talk about a uh, portfolio and a way to manage and I suggested that, look, you know, in order to prosper in this market, we must be able to change with time. We must be able to adapt to what the market is offering. You know, we cannot be, uh, we, we did talk about it, she's been in the market for almost 12 years and over the last 12 years, uh, she didn't really, you know, make a lot and uh, lose a bit. You know? And uh, interesting enough, I, I think it's always been 12 years of one year experience. Would you agree to that? Many of us would be in 10 years in the market, but it's like 10 years of one year experience. So it doesn't make much difference because every year we made the same mistake over and over again. And it's very sad to see after being uh, as, a, as a private fund manager, as a private investor, when managing and handling people's clients as well, doing a bit of trading here and there to see uh, people still fall into um, this uh, uh, trap you know, a lot of trap. I don't know, maybe it's greed, a bit of fear and uncertainty, but this kind of emotion is there. And I've seen this around. And my job myself with Bill is really trying to uh, help you 
uh, with all the all the sense. Thanks, thanks, Carol. The weekly webinar, of course, yeah, and also our closing bell. Our premium members always get a bit more uh, as we analyze the market too. So uh, now we have for those of you who don't, uh, who is quite new and and really want to get to know us better. Who has been? How many of you are new uh, in, in this family of us traders? Through, we just type new if you are new uh, in this. Just type new, okay? Okay, Christina. Anybody else who's listening now is very new. If you are new, I suggest you go to our free VSA e course, uh, uh, which is on our website, and, and register for that one. That will significantly help you a lot uh, going forward. Uh, the uh, the sites is here, and the uh, free VSA course is available now, uh, uh, free of charge. It's a mini e course, not to replace our main course, but to give you a flair of what's happening in here. Uh, this is the uh, link. I will uh, you know, copy this link here and uh, forward to you uh, uh, to get in, uh, in a quick learning. Uh, I just want you to get into a quick learning where you sign up the course and learn more about VSA. Uh, we also have the uh, IVSA stock game to really enhance your skills. So we have a very uh, close framework the IVSA uh, stock game where you can do stock trading simulated using the uh, current prices and then also the uh, VSA course just to have an introduction just to end plus our tool, our so-called premier tools which I'm very proud of, I spent a lot of time and this is just one of them that we can do uh, uh, something I will talk about next Wednesday training okay so let me just get rid of this uh, that will definitely help you a lot Okay, uh, Bill is not with me. Uh, he will be back next week. Uh, he's gone to Singapore for a uh, REITs training. So next week, he's going to come and share you with how to pick stocks, uh, Singapore stock for the real estate uh, uh, investment tr trust, which is very good for retirement and for those of you who are seeking income. That's what he's trying to do, to do a REITs trust in Malaysia on the Singaporean market. You'll be looking at hotels, uh, knowing that the booming tourism in Singapore going up. You're seeing a lot of uh, rising tourism coming from Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, going over to Singapore. And it's really booming. So he wants to capitalize on that by investing in Singapore. Definitely the uh, rich was something that you all can look at. Uh, there was a question posed here today uh, about how long will this uh, bull run in KLCI? Okay, this is from one of the reader. So what I did was I, I tried to go over to our forum here, which is under the tools, under forum, and I believe I did try to uh, you know, put some sort of a answer in there. So for you guys to see it, uh, which is over here, I think. Uh, let me just get in here. Oh, there's more. Some of you people post more, some more. Okay, what happened if a stock delisted? Okay. I will also answer yours too, Ch uh, Chan. Okay. In the case, okay, this one will be second question. Now I'm just going to answer you the first question. Now the KLCI, how high will it go? KLCI has seen his high recently and early this year on my market outlook uh, in February 2014. I am still keeping my outlook close to above 2000 price level. All right. Coupled with the good fundamental data, just a strong GDP growth we had for the second quarter, 6.4. So this market is going to go down ETP project as well as ample liquidity in the financial system uh, uh, is to support this market. Okay. So uh, bearing uh, no changes on the US recovery that we're seeing in US uh, where the GDP figures is also improving. Now remember, if you want to be long term this market, you got to know about the fundamentals of, of the country, fundamentals of the company. Else you'll be in and out, in and out, really, you know, you're, at the end, uh, your broker or your is making more money than you, you know. Would you agree to that statement? Okay. All right, good. Yeah, that's right. You know, simply, you know, just just uh, remember all broker houses uh, out there, their intention is to let you have more turnover. No turnover, they will die, you know. 
<laughs> so their job is to get you to do as much turnover as possible. Well, turnover is possible if you keep your uh, so-called, if you are a trader by nature, you want to keep your cost low and you have a tool like IVSA chart. So when, uh, for those of you, Andrew, come for the, the training. Uh, next uh, Wednesday, you will see how we, you want to do a bit more trading that one. It's also possible. So I'm trying to do a bit in here. So going forward, my advice uh, would be be choosy, choosy with your stock pick. Okay, uh, this year is going to be a year of stock pick. Your your stock pick got to be good. All right, pick high quality stock with good valuation. Use our free magic scanner and, and time it with IVSA, and you're almost there. Uh, combining fundamental with VSA. So that is, and if you like this, we I have created uh, my admin have created several buttons in here: uh, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, uh, Pinterest as well as an email, more options here that you can email and share it with other people. Can you do so, please, to spread the good word around? We are trying to, uh, now that the traderstoolreview.com together with IVSA, we believe we have the best tool in the market. Magic Scanner and IVSA too. And there's not anything else we, we can't do. Would you agree to that? Those of you who have followed us, just give me a show of support here. We've got the Magic Scanner for Fundamental and we have IVSA for Market Timing. We have one of the best tools in the market, right? And uh, definitely over the years, it took time for us to develop partly of my engineering background. And I have uh, uh, you know, learned a lot from Tom Williams uh, during my last visit and my association with, uh, uh, with Trade Guider to bring these tools to you. Right, and uh, finally, uh, Magic Scanner with my research background uh, together with the uh, Bloomberg working together. So we are bringing and combining the best to the retailer and uh, hopefully you guys uh, share it with other people out there. Right, now remember, we, we, we try to keep things uh, as low cost as possible, but eventually we still need to build uh, our team and uh, going forward, uh, there are costs involved and eventually uh, we like your support to su support our products in here and if it works tell us your friend if it doesn't work uh, didn't do as well give your feedback that is why we created the ivsa pro user to really get the feedback from the uh, more matured uh, graduate of us and tell us what you like and what you don't like and how we move forward okay uh there was another question post here uh, about yeah, what happened to shareholder if he or she has been delisted from some JTI normally JTI the broker is supposed to call you uh, to take up the offer if you don't take up the offer they should refund you cash so check with the broker that is why if you are managing your own funds uh, you got to know about all these things uh, else you know if you don't have time give it to someone else to do it I give you got to pay a bit more because time sometimes you know when you try to balance your professional career and, and you're also trading a bit at the end it's just a small cost uh, of investing so sometimes you know you penny wise pound foolish so back to this question in here uh, his capital won't be lost of course so you just uh, need to talk to your broker and, and get your money back. I believe this case for JTI is uh, 820. Okay. Now, especially those of you who use discount broker, you got to be on on uh, on uh, on top of these things. Okay. So uh, Alex, okay, you got to be a uh, Chan. You got to be on top of these things uh, to know where you are because a lot of time uh, they buy and buy and buy and suddenly forget. They end up losing more money because you don't have time. No, I, I spend on day about four hours reading and keeping up in the market. So it's really almost a full-time job. So imagine if you have a big sum, let's say uh, a six-figure capital to manage. I'm sure some of you have I've been talking a few uh, of prospects. They, they dispose of a couple of properties because property prices are good. They have uh, you know, some sum they want to manage. I said, you, you got to have the time. If you don't have the time, then uh, buy unit trust. <laughs> Again, then you fall into the problem who to trust. Right. So in here at the end, what we're trying to prove is that you got to have the right tools, the right people and, and going forward, keep the cost low. Do I they say this makes sense? OK, do I say this makes sense? OK, so what I want to do. All right. Thanks a lot. Yep. Thanks, Linda. So what I want to do now next is that remember all of you, like it or not, is your own private fund manager too, looking for a good allocation, but also look at your risk tolerance. After all, you have to be very, very careful about your money. Like I said in Capital TV, uh, no one care more about your money than yourself, right? And if you do that, then you should be on the right track. Okay, so let's move on to... Uh, to my 
next topic here that I have. Okay, uh, we're going to be looking at the uh, stock scene here, AT. Okay, I'm going to be using my uh, back to my slide here. Okay, Traders Truth. I'll just show you how I get them. Traders to review.com. Right, the screen's coming up. You go to IVSA charts and the charts in here, we're going to be looking at them one by one. Okay, now first one is AT, type AT. Now, if you can see from here, AT, it's pretty nice actually. I uh, kind of like it too. Go back to one year. Right, it went up to about 34 cents, and since then you can see accumulation. Uh, this looks pretty good, very promising. If you switch to percentage scale, okay, look at that. Wow, look at that, 200%, no? <laughs> Zero to 200%. This was a wash. So don't be greedy, like if you can get out with maybe 20%, 30% in here, you got the resistance here at 20%. Switch back to uh, percentage marker to 20% here. That's about 14 cents, yeah, 10, 14 percent. So that, that one looks looks pretty promising in here. Uh, volume, okay, going back uh, to three months. So you can see volume certainly came in. So this is one of those stocks they are wanting to push higher AT systemization, okay. So next one uh, is uh, Hovit, okay. Hovit, remember, it's one of those uh, uh, stocks that I, that I have. Uh, for fundamental reasons, okay? Now, whole wheat has gone up a lot, but since then came off, it still hasn't got this uh, uh, a breakdown yet, all right, uh, other than here. So you can see in here, uh, you got the two bar. So it's tend to go to move sideways here for the time being, judging it from one year, okay? Let's look at this, three months. Let's look at it from six months standpoint. Now, again, I I hope you will, those of you who have, just share with, in, with, with your... Uh, in your Facebook, Twitters, those of you who use it with others. And uh, this is what I talk about. So now the market will probably go through accumulation like what we see in here before it makes another uh, move. So you can see from the judge of it, it has gone through three months of accumulation in here. So again, uh, what price did you buy it? Whoever gave me this uh, stocks, okay? Okay, uh, if you're going to give me these stocks, this is a, a good part. You can see the strengths are did coming in here. Uh, a really nice one. But we have not seen this. This market is not over yet. It's going to move a bit more. Okay, now uh, you all know, those of you who came to our course probably know what I'm talking about. Stage 1, Stage 2. Okay, next one will be... Uh, okay, 34 cents. Yeah, Linda, you pretty bought much the same time as I did. Okay, we are holding up for a longer time. Okay, let's move on to the next stock. Uh, Hapsing. Okay, Hapsing will be here. Oh, this is one of those stock picks I have, isn't it? Okay, Hapsing. Finally, industry. We, we thought it could break. It's breaking down in here. It doesn't look good. It might just miss uh, earning. It's above 200 day moving average in here. So I would recommend you to exit. Okay, this is definitely an exit breaking down. One, two, three. Uh, today, probably I'll see a rebound in here. Okay, this is not good. Okay, uh, again, fundamental or technical, I'll leave it to you. Fundamental, then you're going to see what has happened too. Because sometimes it can rebound back in one or two quarters. Okay. This is not good. Better get out. Next one. Uh, GLS system. Okay. Okay, GLS is good. You got one nice strength here, a breakdown here. You see, typically when they break down, it tends to stay above the 50-day moving average. So pay notice of that one. Okay, break down and it starts to accumulate back. So this one is nice one breaking up in here. Uh, there's a few more strengths here. I think the pro version you'll see more uh, when I show show you guys on, on Wednesday, the, the training here, okay? That one is going to go up higher. Mm -hmm. Not too bad, this one looks all right. Hua Yang, let's look at Hua Yang. Hua Yang, very nice. 
very very nice you look at one year uh, this is a play on iskandar you can see nice one those people hey, this is a uh, stage one uh, beautiful breakdown down 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 broke up another wash up and then up up and away the nice uh, the last three months uh, definitely move how much did it move up two dollars 16 to what wow, 22 percent Right. How much do you what, what price did you buy? This is a long term stock, you know. This is a good fundamental, well managed, pays about seven percent dividend. What price did you buy this? Whoever gave me this stock, big. you got strength coming in here anyway, right? So, this one, if you want to see, you switch to a weekly chart, right? And you can do get this all for free, yeah, but uh, not yet buy. Oh, Andrew, not yet buy. Now, it's a uh, bit for a pullback first, okay? If you're buying on a daily basis. You can see we gotta wait for a pullback. He has, he has he has gone up a bit. You got strength coming here. Buy on stage one. This could be you know uh, starting to move sideways. So just be careful. Not one of the good odds to to be buying. Okay, because it's up in a nice parabolic way. Okay, next one uh, I have is uh, KKB. Okay, KKB. KKB, okay. This one is, uh, suddenly there's no volume here. Okay, let me just switch back to here. Right, it's doing, uh, it trying to break above the 200 day, but definitely there's support. It's actually a good area to buy if you know the fund. Other than that, there was a little bit of a strength in here. Some smart money were accumulating here, uh, pushing up the price higher. Uh, it's, it's a sideway market as, as, as what I see now in here. Very, very tough. Uh, maybe uh, get a better picture using a weekly chart. Right now, you can see on the weekly chart, there were a lot of support around 220. You can see here volume lower. Definitely at 246, people are scrambling it out. All right. Next one, Dayang. Another one. Oil and gas player together with... Uh, what was that? Uh? Uh, together with another oil and gas player. I can't remember. Too many of this. To know okay, Dayang switch to a daily chart again. Now, Dayang, like it or not, it did break up 380. Subsequently, we have a breakdown here, another breakdown here. Doesn't look good, no? Looks like Dayang may test back lower to 355. You got weakness coming in, so the trend is going to be on the downside. Okay, let's look at Dayang today. Where is it? Okay, still holding up, right. What was the low here? Uh, 364, 364, came back up, you know, trying to push up a bit here. So let's see how it goes. Huh? Market is uh, still bullish for most stock. But again, uh, look from a weekly standpoint. You can see uh, market definitely holding up in here over on the 50 day, right? a 200 day moving average trying to break down in here. But it's going to probably test back 355 eventually. Yeah. So trends looking more on the down to a sideway market. Okay. The Echo World. Ah, yes. I talk about Echo World on... How many of you have watched me on my new program? Okay. On my new program in Capital TV. How many have done so? Just type. I'm just more interested those who have not watched it yet. Okay. Okay, you if you have not now if you have not, I suggest if those of you have not okay good good it's on my website uh I believe I I dropped it last week go to the YouTube okay uh KLSC user KLSC two one because I do a lot of stuff uh, content out there sometimes I just don't want to bump you with too many things or you can go to my Facebook if you have. Uh, uh, click like on my Facebook and then you are able to follow me. Okay, what do you do? You go to uh, Facebook, click on like, and everything that is uh, not that related uh, to so much to the day to day stock market, like stock pick things like that. I put it up there. So go on, uh, Christina. Are you on Facebook? Okay, are you on Facebook? Because I want to keep the Facebook a bit more leisure. Okay, yes, okay. So go and click like. Okay, I'll send you this one here, and I can uh, tell your friends. Okay. Okay, I'll show you. I'll also give you this, and then you get this one. I cover more stocks using IVSA. You can listen to it, and it's, at least it's 
a bit more. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks a lot, Christina. Just tell our friends, okay? So those of you who is on Facebook and uh, we got the uh, some of the repeat in here, uh, I review the stocks. So that's going to be good. Uh, let's look at Echo World now. Okay, since we have that one, going back to uh, IVSA here. Oh no, not this one. Uh, okay, Echo World. Where do I put? Oh, oh, I have to go back to here. Oh, never mind. I go back to my website. Ah, here you go. So you can see from Echo World, uh, if you look back at uh, last six months, then I just want to drill down to three months a year. Not that good, no, you see? Weakness, one scene here. There's a breakdown, another breakdown here. Let's look at Echo World. Probably today will be a pullback. But the trend is certainly looking down. So if you want to keep Echo World, uh, you better know what you're doing. That's all I'm saying. Uh. Stick with the trend. Echo World is uh, 8206. 8206. Okay, that's that's what I mean. Broken down in here doesn't look pretty good because last week I already mentioned no. I think last week I've said that uh, you got sign of weakness here and I said this doesn't look very good too. On trend wise, it's really trending down. It's uh falling under is what we call its own weight, huh? Alright, and uh over a longer term, let's look about one year. It's much easier to use. You could see it has gone a lot now. If you look in terms of percentage scale, right? The market has gone up almost a six hundred percent from where it is. So I'm, I'm. You probably have a bit of support here at five hundred percent, right? Which is this mark here, and that will be uh, targeted to four ringgit fifty cents. Okay, but well, five dollar drop to four fifty can be a lot. Uh. <laughs> All right. So if you look back at six, uh, three months with percentage scale, let's see where the market is. So it hasn't gone much, it's gone up to, uh, if you bought it here, gone up to 15%, 15 came back down, we lost a bit, about 10 cents here. Uh, not much upside, uh, Echo will all been priced in indeed. Okay, uh, Linda, you said you have another stock, we still got a bit of time here, one last stock, and I'll uh, close for the Friday chart cleaning, and I'll see you all at our Premium Membership Friday Closing Bell. For those of you who have not uh, thought of uh, joining, all right? Uh, okay, KUB, Christina, KUB. Okay, let's look at KUB. KUB is broken down too. It broke below the 50-day moving average. See this one in here? Gone up, nice trend in here, broke down. Uh, 26 percent and then break down to 12 All right at this junction it does look like it's going to move sideways for the time being uh because you got support here at 56 cents here nice support here All right so you want to see some strength there was this this that that is mean andrew you know what i'm talking about right when you buy hua yang you can see markets moving up but you want to be choose the uh the market structure remember we talked about market structure before when you buy it not just buy every signal that you see Right. Uh, and another one from uh, Linda was uh, which one was it, Linda? You want me to look at? Oh, uh, Velogen. Yeah, Velogen. Let's see where's Velogen. Velogen was my my fundamental pick, isn't it? Is it up? <laughs> I still don't know where. Velogen. Yeah, Velogen straight up and uh, quickly there was some selling. Wow, that was a. I think I recommended sometime in August, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, accumulation in here, push up in here. This is a fundamental stock, not so much for trading. So when it broke through, a lot of sellers came in, but they are selling at a very low value in here. So market might just still support that 86 cents in here. Let's look at value gen, where is it? Uh, stock is 008, uh, MSC stock. This one is uh, definitely one of those MSC count, uh, ACE counter, K0008. Okay, still holding up 85 cents. Okay. So that's it uh, for our program, Friday Chart Clinic. I thank you for your time and thank you for your patience. Have a good weekend. If you have stocks for me to look at next week, send it to, uh, to traderstruthreview.com. Join us. Uh, 
uh, in the forum. Post your questions. Some people post very smart questions like this, right? And uh, and I'll try to answer them. All right. With that, I bid you a good weekend. I'll see you this evening at 4:15 for those of you who is premium members. Bye bye.